Hi Virgo, this is your September reading. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Hi, my name is Bianca and welcome to Wisdom and Light. We normally do monthly horoscopes on here. They're a little bit late, but here they are. We do trending topic readings and whatever that's going on in the cosmos. So this is going to be your oracle and tarot reading. And um, just heads up, we're reading for a big group of Virgos, so not every message that I say in this reading is going to resonate with all of you. But grab what is speaking to you because I know that sometimes the message doesn't resonate with everyone and I can only go off of what I'm picking up on. And if you're new to this channel, again, welcome. But if you've been subscribed and you love these readings, it feels good to be back. I just came back from traveling, so that was why there was such a delay with this reading in particular. And August was just a lot. I normally do these readings when I'm called to and I just felt that it was time to sit down with a Virgo. How are you guys feeling and how have you been celebrating your birthday? What's been going on with that? Let me know how you're celebrating your birthday in the comment section and just wishing all of you a happy birthday. If your birthday already passed, happy birthday. If your birthday is today, happy birthday. And let's get started. Um, again, disclaimer, we're reading for a big group of Virgos, so not everything I say is going to resonate. So grab what's speaking to you. Please try not to get like upset if it's not speaking to you because we're reading for a big group of Virgos and... I hope it speaks to you somehow, some way, and I hope you do gain something from this. So I'm going to pull at least three oracle cards. I don't know what cards came up, but we're just going to trust intuition. We have the observer. We have this time to go. And then we also have flexibility. Okay. So Virgo, so far... I really hope that I see the Magician card in your reading, honestly, because I actually do feel, well, I got the Page of Wands, so that's good enough. I just feel that right now, this is a very powerful time for you. And I just kept visualizing the Magician card, even though it didn't show up in the reading just yet. I kept visualizing it because I just feel that this is the energy that you're in right now. So if you feel that things are not really moving in the direction that you want them to move into, you can turn that around and you can create the narrative. You can create your own story. I do understand for Virgo, it has been very difficult over the past maybe three years. But a lot of you have transformed and you guys have grown so much. And I just feel that you should give yourself a lot of grace because there have been a lot of things that have been sent your way to throw you off your game. But... I feel that, Virgo, you have been given the opportunity to start over. I just feel that this is going to be a very powerful time for Virgo. And I can't help but express how imperative and important it is to really take advantage of this. Because I actually do feel that there's a lot of support for Virgo to transform. And the reason why I'm seeing transform is because lately for a lot of Virgos, from what I'm seeing in this reading, I just feel that a lot of Virgos have not been happy with what it is that they're doing or not happy with where life was taking them. And sometimes we are just navigating through this crazy world called life and this crazy thing called life. And we get lost in the sauce and then we have to kind of pause and be like, wait, do I like this? Is this for me? Is this a distraction? Let me... Let me reel it back in because I need to focus on this. And because I feel that a lot of Virgos reeled it back in and they are handling their business, a lot of blessings is going to be coming in in 2024. So if you've been waiting for a relationship, if you've been waiting for things to take the next level, it's going to be happening definitely in the year of 2024. But right now, you're in the space of preparation. And I love that for you guys. Now... The reason why, again, I kept visualizing the magician is because you are the alchemist. This is truly your time. This can either go left or this can go right. But the good news is I do feel that spirit is giving you the driving wheel. No one is driving your own car. You're the one in control. And maybe for a long time it's been feeling like someone else has been driving for you. And taking you in a direction that you don't really want to go. But I don't feel like that's the case right now. Virgo, you have the power to change the narrative. You have the power to turn this around. 
You have the power to speak. You have the power to say no more, especially if you've been doing something for a long time and it's just no longer in sync or it's compatible with where you're going. I, I can't help but feel that there is something that Virgo has outgrown. You could have outgrown a relationship. You could have outgrown a friendship. You could have outgrown even a career path. Some of you maybe even have a business that you run, but you're tired of doing it. You may want to find another avenue to generate more income. And personally, I feel that a lot of you are in the stages of studying. You're in the stages of observing. You're in the stages of looking at what you want to do, what seeds you want to plant. And we all know that when you plant seeds, you don't see the fruit right away. So I just feel that right now you guys are observing. You guys are paying attention. And I'm also encouraging all of you to ask the right questions when you see something that you're interested in. Some of you could even be taking on a new hobby that's just so random, but then again, it isn't random because you've been called to do this and there's a reason why you've been called to do it. The flexible card here, which is in the past position, this was probably talking about the resistance of that change, but now I feel that a lot of you guys are actually being very bendable to what the divine has been trying to tell you all of this time. And maybe a lot of you guys have been sitting on this idea, sitting on this vision that you've had of completing something, writing that book, going back to school, whatever that this is, you're finally making time to make these things come true. So Virgo, what are you making time towards? What are you getting ready to get started on? It just feels like a sense of freedom in a way for Virgo, because a lot of you guys have been maybe in your mind and I really, okay. Hear me out. I know that some Virgos hate it when I say that some of you guys have been in your mind a lot of overthinking and some people have even said to me, but Bianca, you make it seem like I'm just all over the place mentally and I can't think for myself or that we're just these weak beings and we're fragile. I've heard a few Virgos tell me that and it's like, no, if you got that from the reading, then I think the point is kind of going over your head because maybe the certain words that I said was kind of triggering, but hear me out. Virgo is a sign that does strive for some form of perfection in their own mind. So what may look perfect to you may not look perfect to the next person, but in their eyes, it's what looks beautiful to them. And if it doesn't look the way that a Virgo wants it to look, there is this sense of overthinking, not because it's weak mindedness or anything like that, but it's because no, Virgo has a vision of how they want it to look. Virgo knows how it wants to sound. Virgo knows where they want to take this. And if it's not coming to life in the way that they are envisioning it, it's not good enough. I've always preached to Virgo that what you may think is not good enough is actually beautiful. And even the flaws in that is beautiful. So I do feel like a lot of you guys have come to that realization and there's something going on where you guys are being very bendable. You guys are really spreading your wings out and you're allowing yourself to do something different than you have always done. You guys are opening yourself up to new friendships, new relationships, new connections. And this is something that didn't happen before, making new business partnerships. So this reading is more so of a, you're actually on the right track. But if you have been very stagnant in a relationship or connection, it's time to let this go. Some of you guys may be actually having an important conversation with a friend, or for some of you, this could be someone from the past. For some of you, this could be family. And it's just figuring out where is this going to go? How is this going to look? What does this mean? And this feels like an ending for some of you. But then for a lot of you, it feels like it's an ending to how it was. But for some of you, it's an ending for how it was. But the both of you or the person in question or whomever, the group of you, whatever, could be making a new beginning on how it needs to be. So just because there's an ending here, the ending doesn't mean a breakup or a divorce. It could be that for some. But there is an ending of, I am no longer going to do this, or 
I am finally breaking this generational curse. I'm breaking the cycle within my family. I'm breaking the cycle within myself. And that creates a new beginning. So just because I'm predicting an ending, that doesn't mean that there is not something that's promised after that. But there needs to be that conversation or there needs to be that moment with yourself where you come to that conclusion, whatever that is. Whatever that came to mind is what I'm talking about to each and every one of you. Okay. Page of Wands, new ideas, a new beginning. This is a fresh start. This is the reset that Virgo needed. Virgo, you guys would benefit from a beautiful spa day. You guys would benefit from a from a from a birthday that's kind of low key. Something that's not going to be very um I mean, I can't tell you what to do, Virgo. By all means, go party, go do whatever. But a lot of you would really benefit from like a gorgeous spa there. Just something where it's a little bit low key, but it's still giving you a beautiful experience. The only thing I will say that is a warning message here is try not to, um, I've said this before, but try not to overthink this next move that you're about to make because it actually stops you from progressing and moving forward if you continue to think about the worst of the worst or worst case scenario, okay? You're doing a beautiful job. Two of Swords, yes, it has been difficult making this decision, but I feel that you guys will come to a healthy, healthy decision very, very soon. Actually, probably this week or by the end of Virgo season. And also be kind to yourself because this is also a Mercury retrograde. Mercury is your ruling planet. That energy is going backwards. So if you're overthinking, it's normal. But just try not to let it be where you're not making certain decisions. Two of Swords reverse. Some of you feel like maybe you rushed into something or made a decision prematurely. It's okay to revisit it. It's also okay to change your mind too. So heads up, if you're changing your mind about something, you have the green light to do so because you have to do what's best for you. Um, we have the Six of Cups reverse. This is speaking of the past. Things regarding family could be popping up. I do see that here. We have the Hangman, but the wait is over. We have the Hero Fit reverse. We have the Two of Wands. It's time to march to the beat of your own drum and do what is best for you. And it's time to make some important decisions, okay? Also, when it comes to family with the Ten of Cups reverse, it's also time to accept the things that you can't change when it comes to certain people in your family. And if it's not about family, this is emotional happiness. It's time to accept what just didn't work out and try to find peace outside of that. So I want to pull some um, romantic cards just to kind of see... What are the romantic messages coming from Virgo? But overall, your reading just feels like a breath of fresh air. It feels like a fresh new start, a new beginning, a huge reset. Um, peace is the card that jumped up just now. So I'm going to acknowledge that the divine wants all of you to have peace. And if that means you need to kind of disconnect, if that means that peace looks like not being on social media so much, peace looks like just doing garden work rather than being so involved with helping other people. If peace means putting your phone on do not disturb. If peace means not going out when people invite you. However that looks, I would really want all of you to embrace that. I feel like it's been very busy for a lot of you. And because a lot of Virgos are going through huge transitions right now, it can feel a little overwhelming. So make sure you're finding ways to decompress. I feel love um, for Virgo. I feel clarity for Virgo. I feel like you're looking at something and you're like, yeah, I need to do what's best for me. I need to love me first. I need to show up for me first. And it's either the person's going to honor that and respect that or they may have to kind of do what's best for them. And that, and that can represent an ending like I was talking about in your reading. We have the soulmate card. So some of you are coming to a healthy realization that something's not working. And then some of you are actually deepening a bond with someone because you're finally coming to a conclusion of what wasn't working, but you're going to walk towards what is. Does that make sense? This reading is so refreshing because if it's been mentally foggy and confusing, it's about to clear up. A lot of you guys could be entering into new relationships, getting married, um, 
starting up a new career, but you're just studying it and observing it before you actually launch it. It just feels like Virgo is getting ready to go a hundred miles an hour with this once you guys have all of your tools and everything set. And I'm really happy for you guys. I just don't want you guys to kind of psych yourself out of this energy. I want you guys to take advantage of this because this is going to work out in your favor if you so allow it. So, um, yeah, even though the magician card did not come out in this reading, I just feel that that's the whole vibe of this um, message for you guys. You have the power to create whatever that you want, however that you want. And if something isn't working for you, you can create and change and adjust and make choices to where it serves and it helps you. And if the person in question wants to follow suit and match that energy, then of course you guys can move forward together. But if this person is resisting that, respect where they're at, but they have to respect what it is that you want and the direction that you are taking. Some of you guys are going to be walking this path towards success alone. And then some of you are going to be met with the right people or all of that's going to happen. You're going to walk away from some, but you're going to walk into what's actually meant for you. I would say try not to force it with the people that are trying to resist the change you're trying to make within yourself. I would say don't compromise too much to where now you're losing yourself and you're not doing what's best for you. But overall, Virgo, um, that may not apply to everybody, but for majority, yeah, you're only going up from here. This is a level up. This is where you are focusing on your legacy. You are focusing on the next generation. You are focusing on how it's going to look when you are remembered one day. What have you done? What did you accomplish? However that looks to you. So I feel like um, this solar return means a lot to a lot of you. The solar return also showed you who's your friend and who isn't and what needs to be addressed and what needs to change. But Virgo, you got this. This is um, very positive. A lot of you are going to be deepening a connection with somebody, healing a connection with somebody, or accepting that something has come to an end. But I feel like there is still a sense of peace within that. Anyways, guys, I really hope that this reading resonated. I hope, oh, wow, the cards were crooked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still a little jet lagged, so please forgive me. But um, if you guys would like a personal session, I have a few left. I don't know if it's booked out already, and I will announce if I have more, but I only have a select amount available. The link is in the description below. Please make sure to read before you book. Um, it's a process, but um, I'm looking forward to connecting with all of you. And if you have already booked for September, which is booked out, I'm so excited to be pulling cards for each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for all of your support and your love and your patience. Happy birthday. Happy soul return to all of the Virgos out there. And honestly, Virgo, this is your time. And 2024 is your year. So start preparing. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.